Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for April 23rd. I'm Philip Newman, um, filling in for Bill on a Clover puzzle. This one is called German Wigglers by Clover. I was just commenting um, the other day that Clover doesn't usually give cute titles to her puzzles. Sometimes she does, um, but here's one example of that. Uh, this is a German Whispers puzzle, as you might guess from the title. We have normal Stoke rules, one to nine in each row column and 3 by 3 box. Additionally, we have some lines in the grid, and digits connected by one of these lines must differ by at least 5. Um, that has some consequences, so let's remind ourselves what those consequences are. We can never put 5 on a line, because if we want to differ by at least 5, we would either have to go down to 0 or up to 10, and those are not allowed. Uh, we also have to alternate uh, between low digits and high digits, because if we want to get five away from one of these low digits, we have to cross over five and get into high digits. Um, four and six in particular are very restricted because they can only go next to one other digit. So for example, this cannot be a four because there's a nine in the box, and the only thing four can go next to on a line is a nine. So those are the rules, and a reminder of some of the um, tricks that we have for German Whispers. Let's start with this row. We need one, two, and six. And these two cells are connected by green lines, so they must differ by at least five. So neither of them can be two. This must be the two. Additionally, six can't go here, because it would need to be next to two ones. So this is six, one, like that. And let's continue around the edge of the grid. These are 3, 4, and 9. Um, we could have 3 or 4 with the 9 here. Um, the low digit must go here, though, so this must be the 9. And then this will be 3 or 4, and this will be 3 or 4. Um, can it be 4? No, same reason as the 6 up here, because these can't both be 9. So this is 3, and now the 3 needs an 8 next to it. So now this is 4, and that's just going to give us a 9 immediately. These are 2, 3, and 8. So this must be the 8. Since we need a high digit, there's a 2 looking down here. Actually, 2 and 8 were looking at the cell, so that was just a 3 anyway. And that's a 2. This column needs 1, 4, and 7. The 4 can't go next to 1 or 7, so it goes here. It needs a 9. And then these are 1, 7, and we know the order because of the two there, you know this must be a high digit. And in fact, the only thing it can be is an eight because it sees nine, six, and seven. So that's all the outside lines done. Let's look at these. Uh, we need a five in the box, so it's gonna have to go here and that's gonna feed around the grid, placing some fives. Well, we already have the five here. Uh, five, we have, Two left and it can't go in the line, so they go like that. So those are done. Uh, these are two and seven. These are one and six. These are two and seven again. Uh, and that one is resolved, but that's seven. And then these are three, four, and nine. That's got to be the three, and then four and nine. So I don't think these are resolved. Yet, not bad. Highlighting the wrong thing. Um, yeah, those are not resolved yet. Uh, we do get some information here. So these must be low, these must be high. Um, this could be six or seven. Uh, and this can't be two, so this must be a one with a six, seven there. This must be a 1 or 3. It can't be 3 because the 8 and the 9 here. So this must be 1. And then the only digit in the row, actually, high digit, is a 6. So this must be a 2 again. This can't be 3. Going next to 2. This is 6 or 9, but 6 can't go next to 2. And then this is 4 because it sees all the other digits. Uh, this is still not resolved. Six or seven. So now we have one, six, and seven. We have one, six, and three. 
three cannot go next to any of those digits. Um, so it's going to have to go here. So this is one six. Um, right now they could go in any order, actually. Um, unlike in this situation, here we couldn't put a six because we would need two ones and those ones would be in the same box. Here we don't have that problem. These could both be ones and these could both be ones. All right. Left in the box, we have one, six, and seven. This is one or six. I don't, don't see a way to resolve that yet. In fact, we have a lot of digits like that. This is one, six, or seven as well. Seven. Oh, this is also two, seven because of the one, six here. So two, seven pair here, one, six pair here. I know I could pencil mark. I guess for clarity, I will. I'm trying to do a little solving without pencil marking. Um, I mentioned that in a recording I just did for one of Bill's puzzles, but this may be released first, so it may be confusing for me to say. But um, for clarity, since this is a walkthrough, I will use the pencil marks. Ah! These cannot be six now, um, because this can't be one. We have a one-six pair here. So these must be the ones. And that makes that a one to go next to the six. We had a little one-six pseudo-deadly pattern, but it was resolved by the ordering on the line. We still need four and eight. That can't be four, obviously. We've got two eight here, so this is seven. It's finally going to resolve that. This must be eight to go next to the twos. This is seven or eight. This is six or seven. This must be three, so that's an eight. These are two, four, seven. Two, seven, four, like that. This must be a six. Resolving the six, seven pair. These are. Four and six. I'm just getting really slowly right now. One and nine. And eight and three. That's the solution. A nice gentle German whispers from Clover. Um, using the edges to get going. Um, really lovely. Let us know how you did in the comments. And I will see you next time.